Oh. All right, ladies and germs, welcome back to the fish dimension. Today, we are going to go to my home lake, Lake Tomalex. I know I said I hate it, but there's a couple things there I wanna try. Now, back, uh, back when, back about a year ago, when I first started fishing, there was, uh, there was this man that I met at Lake Tomalex underneath the bridge. He was a wise old crappy master. I was struggling just to catch bluegill and panfish and such, and I noticed that he was pulling out crappy left and right. I didn't even really know what crappy were yet then. Uh, he was actually catching crappy two at a time on a double rigged uh, line. It was quite impressive and made me feel like a fool. So eventually I got to talking to him and I asked him, I said, you know, how the hell are you doing that? And he pointed out to the water and he said to me, I pray thee, young learner, cast thine line betwixt yonder pylons. Let thy bait descend from aloft and then reel back to thine self with great patience. Well, I've learned a lot about crappy since then, and so now it's time to go to that bridge and it's time to see if I can do the same thing. Now, I'm not looking to double up on a rig here today or anything. I'm probably just going to throw one lure at a time, but I want to see if I can catch these fish. Come with me, won't you, as we step into the fish dimension. I gotta go pay the piper here. Damn it. All right. So, right down yonder is the place from the story there. That's the bridge where, uh, I met the old wise crappy master. It's entirely possible he might still be there today, but we'll see. I think I might get lucky and be by myself. This is a bit of a walk, as you can see. A bit of a steep walk. Oh, there goes a turtle. Nice size one, too. Yeah, there's uh, snakes that like to hang out down at the end here, too. All right. Whoa. That was a big turtle. I think it fell in. I was going to turn the camera off for the rest of this walk, but it's getting interesting. Now, fortunately, we're going to be under a bridge, so I don't need to wear sunblock today. I'm happy about that because it is beaten down. But it is a lovely afternoon, regardless. So what I usually do here is I just walk all the way to the end and then I kind of hop down. You can't fish from the bridge, but you can fish under it. Now I'm gonna have to take a look at that turtle uh, when I look at the video again later. The thing was huge. I couldn't see if he scrambled in that quick or if he fell. All right, we're almost there. Yeah, there's people here.
was close. talking as loud or shouting as loud as I want to because there's people around but uh, yeah there you go I'm finally getting on summer crappy decent there's no uh, size or creel limit here so I could take it if I want to but I think we're gonna let this guy go back not bad so yeah it's pretty easy you just cast out between the two pillars let it sink a little bit reel it back to you and kind of pop it a little bit while you're reeling and that's your reward. Nice summer crappy. Damn, it feels good to be getting on fish again. Oh, I'm glad I did this. All right, let's let him go. Felt another bite. Oh, he bit it off. Did he do that? Ugh. I need a new swivel. I had to retie because uh, the swivel was a piece of shit. Crappy took the whole lower. Pretty one, much one that uh, dragged on the bottom at this point. Barely getting them. Okay, very nice, very nice. Good to be catching them. Can't tell you how happy this makes me. Summer has sucked. Bad, not bad. I scrape the top of this uh, bridge fairly frequently. It's very low. Hard to keep from doing that when you need to pull suddenly. Everyone around me is not catching anything. I'm the master now. for a new lure. Let's try blue. Bite. Oh yeah. There we go. Got him. Slammed it for how little he is. There you go. Nice little crappy. Nice. <laughs> All black crappy so far. Okay, let's let him go. <laughs> There's one. There's crappy all under here. They love it. The, the shade and the structure. Oof. Snakes. Why'd it have to be snakes? At least in a way. Damn it, where'd he go? Oh. 
that's just great. Stay away. I don't think he was dangerous. I think it was just a, um, what do you call it, a regular water snake. But, uh, definitely don't want to take that chance if I can avoid it. Because he was big, either way. Oh, these kids never shut up. Got a big knock. Bit off the end of my tail here. <sighs> Damn. Would have liked to see what that was. Very strong pull. So there's a rock slope. It goes down right here. I'm trying, um, I'm trying to pull up at the end so that I so that I don't do exactly what I just did and snag on it. Bass definitely want to be there. God, the snake is in the rocks that I'm standing in. Just saw his head pop up. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. Just hope he stays there. Nice thing I need is to get bit. Probably need to put on a new lure since my tail got bit off. Time to put a new lure on. I don't like fishing with uh, without the wiggliest of tails. Let's try a silver one. Blue one did really good for me, but why not try different things? Almost out of battery juice anyway. But I'm happy. We got a video out of this. I'm actually like ecstatic. I just can't be uh, too happy because it would look weird. There's lots of people around. All right, day continues while I wait for my camera to recharge. Caught another one. Good size one. All right, well, I may not be a master level yet, but uh, I think it might be safe to say that um, I can do this almost expertly now. Uh, so in case I don't catch any more fish before the camera dies, thank you for coming to the fish dimension. What a great day. Alright, got one. Yes! <laughs> uh, now they're liking it a little faster. Yeah, it's good to see these fish again. <laughs> nice little guy. With crappy, it's like their their eyes are always the same size. If if they're a little fish, the eyes look huge, and if they're a big fish, the eyes start to look small because they're pretty much always just about that big. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, sometimes fishing is an awesome day.